Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, man. I got another great video for you guys today, man. You guys know the deal, man. You know the deal, man. I want to thank you guys, man, for subscribing to my channel, man, for your comments, man, for, for showing me all this love, man. I, I really appreciate it, guys. It's very humbling, man. Thank you, guys, man. It means a lot, man, because you, you guys respect, man, what I'm doing, right? It's about the facts, guys, and the truth, right? This stuff is not personal or nothing, man, right? When, when we're talking the truth, and we're telling the truth, and we're talking the facts, that's not hate, right? We're not here to diminish anybody, right? None of that stuff. We're just telling the facts, guys. And uh, in this video, guys, I want to speak about Rich Paul. I, I, I was thinking about doing a video, man. Some of you guys had mentioned in some of my uh, other videos, man. Some of you guys had asked me to, to mention or, or to talk about this, this Rich Paul stuff, guy. Um, and so, you know, hey, I'll throw my two cents out there. I see a lot of people doing videos on, on Rich Paul and, and some of the comments that he's made and some of the things that he said. I don't know. But you guys know the deal, man. You know what to do. Turn that volume all the way up. Hit that play button. <clears throat> Listen to the information, guys. Listen to my voice. Listen to what I have to say. Remember, these views are for educational purposes. And let's roll. <clears throat> so, yes, guys, Rich Paul, man, LeBron James' best friend, his childhood friend, his agent, the, uh, the guy who runs Clutch Media, he, uh, he, he's made some controversial comments in the past. I mean, not even controversial. He just he lies. He says a lot of nonsense. You can tell he's not educated on basketball history and on the actual game of basketball, which is, which is really ironic because your best friend's LeBron James. You would think that you would be up on basketball. You would know basketball, right? But apparently these guys do not. And why do I say that? Well, because when you listen to him speak, and when I was listening to him speak, I had to listen to a little bit of it. I did not hear him mention one thing about the actual game of basketball. Not one thing. He talked about all this social media stuff. He talked a lot about these off the court things. He talked about LeBron James just making it to the finals. But he never once stated any factual argument as it pertains to the actual games on the court, their accomplishments, none of that stuff. Never, never did as to why LeBron James is greater than Michael Jordan. When we all know that this is not even a conversation, guys. This is not a debate. This is not close. Like I said, I don't have LeBron James in my top 10, guys. Say what you want about that. That's great. But there's no way, no how LeBron James is even close anywhere to Michael Jordan or the number one greatest player of all time. If you have Michael Jordan as the greatest player of all time, that's great. But I hope it's not LeBron James, man. I really do. Because there's no factual argument. So this guy, Rich Paul, proceeds to harp on social media. And he's, he's harping on this, this pressure that LeBron James is under, this, this scrutiny. And he tries to relate to Michael Jordan, and he, he's disingenuous like most people when they do this. And he talks about how Michael Jordan didn't really have any critics. And what would Michael Jordan have done in this era with the social media pressure, with all people's opinions out there all the time? These are the arguments that they make. They're not back, uh, basketball factual arguments. And why is that? Because when guys like Shannon Sharp and Nick Wright, Colin Cowherds and Gilbert Arenas and all these guys, anytime you hear them speak about Michael Jordan versus LeBron James, they've never once given you a statistical factual argument that proves and shows based on accolades or resumes that LeBron James is anywhere near Michael Jordan. You can't make one. There isn't one. There's no case. I don't care what Stephen A. Smith says. Oh, I got him number two right behind Michael Jordan. He's not number two. He's not that close to Jordan. No matter what people tell you, there's no factual argument for it. There's none. So what do people do? They proceed to do what Rich Paul did. They make it about all other nonsense. There's nothing that, that's factual. Because there's one thing that we know for certain as it pertains to the media pressure and Michael Jordan. People, listen, 
You can say whatever you want now. Michael Jordan, back in the 90s, couldn't go anywhere, guys, with a billion cameras in his face. After games, he was swarmed at his locker, constantly being berated with questions. There were many times they were trying to get Michael Jordan to point the finger at Scottie Pippen, trying to get him to point the finger at Bill Cartwright and his other teammates. I don't remember anybody writing a book about LeBron James. You guys remember they wrote a book. That guy wrote a book about Michael Jordan, right? That sports writer called The Jordan Rules. He wrote a book about the man. And that book was almost tearing the Bulls apart at one point. Because of some of the things that were shared in that book were supposed to be private. These are the things that was going on. I don't remember a LeBron James having a book written about him. Trying to say that, you know, he was harsh on his teammates. I don't remember that. That was the scrutiny that Michael Jordan was going through. Do you guys not remember people harassing Michael Jordan about his gambling? To this day. People still try to make Michael Jordan's father's death nefarious, shady, and blame Michael Jordan's gambling on it. These are the disgusting things that people will say now to this day about Michael Jordan. You think they weren't talking about Michael Jordan back when that was happening? It was all in the papers. The man went to Atlantic City, right, after one of the New York Knicks uh, games in the Eastern Conference Finals in 1993. The Bulls went down 0-2. And all of a sudden, they were all over Michael Jordan for being out in Atlantic City gambling late at night. All over him. The New York media was lethal when it came to Michael Jordan. Right? He used to kill the Knicks, man. Any chance they had to jump on the pretty boy Michael Jordan, right? The golden boy Michael Jordan, they would jump on him. They would jump on him. Before he started winning, they talk about all he could do is score. All these numbers he was putting up, he was never going to win. So Michael Jordan received his scrutiny. If you guys remember, when he went to go play baseball, Sports Illustrated put that, that, uh, that cover out, right? He was on the cover of that Sports Illustrated issue, and they put that article telling Michael Jordan to bag it, right? Basically, to quit trying to play baseball. You were embarrassing yourself out there. And Michael Jordan proceeded to never do anything for Sports Illustrated since that day, to this day. That was, they were criticizing Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was getting trashed by many people when he went to play baseball. Right? They didn't sugarcoat anything. And that's what guys like Rich Paul, that's who LeBron James surrounds himself with. Yes, men. Rich Paul's a yes man. Riding the coattails of LeBron James. I'm happy they're doing their thing, man. They're making their money right on them. But when Rich Paul comes on there and talks and says nothing about the on-court game, that's when you lose me, man. That's when you expose yourself. He says he grew up watching Michael Jordan. No, you didn't. I watched Michael Jordan. You obviously did not watch Michael Jordan, and you're not objective, and you're a yes man. Because if you watched Michael Jordan, for you to say he was never criticized or he wasn't criticized like LeBron James is a flat-out lie. LeBron James has barely been criticized, especially over the last 10 years or so, the man owns all the media. Every time you turn the TV, they're talking good about LeBron James or they're making excuses for LeBron James or they're trying to get another team to trade somebody or send somebody or they're trying to talk a uh, free agent into going to LeBron James to help him out. It's all about him. They weren't doing that for Michael Jordan. Also, when we think about social media and, and Chris Paul talking about social media, Michael Jordan doesn't even have social media now. He's never promoted himself through social media. He's not tweeting every other day. He's not videoing himself doing things. He's not on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube. He don't have a podcast. All these other athletes and celebrities are on social media. Right? Expanding their brands, making money off of this stuff. Michael Jordan's brand speaks for itself. He's Michael Jordan. He don't have to go on Twitter every two days to try to defend his legacy against the random people out there. Right? These stupid kids 
The guys who comment on my videos. You think he's worried about these people? No. Why would he be worried about them then? He's not worried about Scottie Pippen now or Isaiah Thomas now. He's not coming out on Twitter defending himself against these guys. Michael Jordan's living his best life right now, laughing at everybody. Just living his life. He did what he did. And that's why we're here. Because they're trying to un rewrite this man's history. They're trying to take all his stuff away, act, act like his era was the weakest era in the history of the world. We won't allow that to happen. We won't allow that. I won't allow that. It's my childhood. I watched this stuff. So, yes, it matters. That's why I'm on here. That's why I'm passionate about this. It means something to us. Michael Jordan was an icon, man. He meant a lot to a lot of people with the way he approached the game. I told you we respected this man. We do not respect LeBron James. He has not earned our respect. He said he wants respect. You must earn respect, man. Respect is not given, man. Ain't no one ever taught you that. You got to earn some respect, man. You want to be a grown man? Then you got to go out there and you got to earn respect, man, from other grown men. And you haven't earned my respect. Michael Jordan earned our respect with the way he approached the game. The way that he played the game with the heart. I told you he showed up 82 games for the fans, man. For the love of the game. Rich Paul has no idea, no concept of the history of the game of basketball, no knowledge of the basketball, which is why he cannot argue a LeBron James over Michael Jordan theme without trying to make it some off-the-court nonsense. Come on, man, get out of here trying to make it about pressure. Michael Jordan ain't worried about no pressure, man. No people on Twitter. He'll just use it as fuel for the fire to continue to burn down whoever he's playing against. He would probably even search through social media and look for more excuses to be mad or more excuses to come to your hometown team and destroy them. Your, your hometown team will go to your Twitter and be like, yo, man, stop talking, man. Mike coming in here dropping 40 and 50 on us, man, because of you. You want to go out there and tweet some nonsense. I don't know who you guys think Michael Jordan was or is, man. Dude ain't worried about social media. He ain't worried about news reporters. Michael Jordan was a master at handling the media. A master. Class personified. I can listen to Michael Jordan post-game press conferences all day. When the man spoke, we listened. Because he had good things to say, man. He was a real leader. They followed Michael Jordan, man. Right? He always took the blame and always deflected the credit. Always, always gave these guys props. The video proof is there. Rich Paul says something about uh, LeBron James' antlers are in platinum. Michael Jordan's antlers might be in gold. This is what the man said? What are we talking about here? Number one, I'm pretty sure, man, that goats are supposed to have horns. I, listen, guys, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not some like, zoologist or nothing, man. But I'm pretty sure that, that goats are supposed to have horns. Not antlers, right? Antlers are on what? Like like, like deer? Excuse me, guys. On deer? So, that actually makes sense that he said that. Because LeBron James plays like a deer in headlights through most of his career. Especially in the big moments, right? This is LeBron James in the big moments, right? The eyes get wide. He's looking for somebody else to bail him out. He's looking for George Hill when he's got a, a, a 50-point game going in the NBA Finals, right? At the last things of the fourth quarter, he want to drop off to George Hill, right? He's blaming on, on J.R. Smith, right? When J.R. Smith should make, dude, you just dropped off to George Hill at the end of the game. That's what I would have said if I was J.R. Smith. I'd make, dude, man, get out of here with this nonsense, man. That's LeBron James, man, right? He going to stand in the corner when Kyrie Irving sizes up Steph Curry for the last second three, right? In game seven of the NBA Finals. LeBron James standing in the corner, biting his nails, right? Hoping Kyrie makes it. They were going to give LeBron the ball, but he was like, no, 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 man. Give it to Kyrie, man. Give it to Kyrie, please. I, I can't. That's the greatest player of all time right there. Insane, man. It's insane the things that Rich Paul was saying. 
the things that he said, like I said, he didn't make it one basketball argument. Not one basketball argument, guys. Not one. I'm going to do a continuation on this video because I don't want it to go too long. Because there are a couple more things that I like to say as it pertains to the, the pressures that Michael Jordan wasn't under compared to LeBron James. This pressure stuff that we keep talking about. I, 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 don't, I don't see it. I don't get that. I don't get that at all. You know, and, 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 and another thing that bothers me too, man, that I want to continue on is this continue, continue to like just gloss over LeBron James' losses, right? They, they chalk it up to, well, he wasn't the favorite in this finals. He wasn't the favorite in this one. What does the favorite have to do with anything? Why are y'all stuck on this quote unquote favorite? Who tells you who's the favorite? Are you telling me that guys are in the locker room before the game and they're like, yo, guys, man, there's no way we could win this game because we're really not the favorite. Las Vegas is picking against us. So I don't even know why we're coming out here to play. But let's let's just hope we do good. You think that's what this? Did they saying that? This favorite nonsense, man. Rich Paul talking about, you know, he was only the favorite. And then he he proceeds to say, yeah, he was the favorite in 2011. Like, and he glosses over that. Glossed over it. Right? They don't want to talk about 2011. Nobody wants to talk about 2011 when it comes to LeBron James and his cult fan base. They want to just gloss over that. But then yet his fan base will talk about 1986 against the Celtics and they want to talk about 1989 against the Pistons or 1990. I mean, but come on, man. What are we saying, though? We excuse. Yo, he went to eight straight. That's all they'll say. He went there. He went there. You see that stuff? See the bar, how low it's raised for him? Michael Jordan was trying to match Larry Bird and Magic Johnson all the way up here. And all of a sudden, they completely lowered the ball for LeBron James all the way down here so he can get over it without even taking a step. Just for making it there now. That's crazy. That's his boy, Rich Paul. You guys know nothing, man. You know nothing. Straight clowns, man. You guys are yes men. You don't even have enough respect for LeBron James to tell him to his face. You are not greater than Michael Jordan, man. So let's just stop this stuff right here. You're a great player, no doubt. You're a Hall of Fame. You're an all-time legend. LeBron's an all-time legend, man. No doubt, guys. He's great. We know that. He's just not on Jordan's level. He's not close to Jordan. That's not an insult. That's the facts. That's the truth. And there's not, I've not heard one factual argument from Michael Jordan, LeBron James, that LeBron is better than Michael Jordan. I haven't heard one, guys, from anybody. I don't care if it's on a podcast or a, a, a media network. Or, nobody. No one's ever said one. I haven't heard one. You know why? Because there is not one. So they're making about this off-the-court nonsense. That's how you know that it's not close, guys, right? I'm going to continue this, guys, because the videos went too long, man. Yo, I appreciate you guys again, man, yo. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.